Okay, hey guys, this just came in the mail and I figured I would do another Jurassic Mail video and open it up for you guys. And I found this on eBay for $5.18. So, this was very cheap. And, uh, yeah, I saw it and I thought I don't own that, so I thought I'd and, ooh. <laughs> Let's have a look what we have here. as well. Yeah, look at that. So what we have here is The Lost World Jurassic Park, The Complete Dinosaur Scrapbook, A Guide to Jurassic Park, and The Lost World Jurassic Park. So let's have a look inside this book and see what it's all about. On the cover here you've got, I'm guessing, images that are, you know, from the inside of this book, and then on the back it says, Life Will Find a Way, The Lost World Jurassic Park. Here's the definitive keepsake for every dinosaur lover who enjoyed the Jurassic Park films. Features more than 100 full color photographs from both movies, Jurassic Park and The Lost World. Includes a large meet the cast section, nice and all meet the dinosaurs. Information and look into the science of Jurassic Park, including dinosaur facts, and provides behind the scenes information. Oh, nice. So, yeah, I saw this online as I said, and uh, never seen it before. Wow, look at this image. Wow, that is really detailed. Shows all the engine workers, and there's old RJ and Roland Tembo at the front there. Sarah and Nick bringing up the rear. Um, yeah, let's see here. Oh, there's that Raptor again. <laughs> Dedicated to a Nickosaurus Rex, whoever that is. Ah, oh, look at this. Site B. The Cinco Muertes. That's so cool. The Five Deaths began with a vision. Well, I'm going to have to read this uh, uh, in my own time, but, yeah. Oh, wow, I'm going to have to read this because it's probably got some really neat information. And, uh, yeah, look at these images. There are things on the island that not can only kill you. They want to kill you. If you take this place lightly, you'll never leave it. He, wait, he doesn't say that unless, oh, I guess, is that from the novel? I can't remember. Oh. So now we're into the meet the car section. Oh, wow, and you've got these really close-up drawings of uh, Crash McCreary's artwork. Oh, excellent. Look at these deleted scenes. They're really good quality photos as well. And it's really cool because it's got, like, quotes from, like, the first film alongside images from The Lost World. <laughs> Information on the dinosaurs. Pachycephalosaurus. Some nice screen caps. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that image before, unless it's like a cropped one from a bigger image. And we're now onto the Stegosaurus section. Well, I'm definitely going to have to give this a read. This seems like it's got a <laughs> Dino Demis. Looks like it's got a lot of information in it. Let's read one, actually. Scientists aren't sure about the function of the staggered plates that run along the back of the Stegosaurus, but most think the plates were used to soak up warmth, like solar panels. And when the animal was too hot, these plates helped the Stegosaurus cool down. Hmm. Oh, here we go, like Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at these images. There's not too much glare from the light. These images are uh, very crisp. <laughs> if people had the chance to see one dinosaur, and only one, 90% would choose the Tyrannosaur. Now that's something to build a theme park around. Peter Ludlow. That must be from like an early script, surely. Shirley. Oh wow, look at this. These this bull T Rex Crash McCreary out. I don't think I've ever seen it this clear. I mean but well, there's high res images online and stuff, but yeah. Oh wow, look at this one. <laughs> that person just sleeping down there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
Oh, man, this is going to be really cool to read. Whoa! That's a big old image. <laughs> oh, and there's a, there's a nice image you don't see every day. One of like RJ and Ronan Tembo walking up to the Rex nest. Brachiosaurus. Information on that. <laughs> wow, that's, an, uh, that's a green compy. Nice uh, still photo of uh, the British family. And the compy going to bite Peter Ludlow's finger. And the Dilophosaurus. This really does need to make a comeback at some point, right? Right? <laughs> Spitzville. Sorry if I'm not talking much during this video, I'm just flicking through this myself. Oh, blimmin' heck, look at this. <laughs> a question of colour. Oh, I guess like they're talking about the coloration of the dinosaurs. Oh, and Velociraptor. Oh, wow, look at... So, here we've got some really high-res images from the uh, first film. Amazing. And then over here you've got the uh, the tiger-striped version from The Lost World, the males. <laughs> oh, wow. And then it's all, all The Lost World. <laughs> this is interesting. They gave up. They're not chasing us. Unknown hunter from the lost world. What? Where is that line from? I'm gonna have to give this a read for sure. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna have to give this a, a good old read. They don't try to bite the jugular like a lion. They just slash here and here, maybe across the belly. Point is, you're alive when they start to eat you. There's that famous shot of the raptor, which was supposedly, I, I believe, after RJ had been killed. And they filmed his death scene. And here's a list of some of the characters who attacked in both Jurassic Park movies. Dennis, oh look, they list all the people who were killed. <laughs> wow. Dr. Burke, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. He nobly tried to save the others, but could not save himself. Honestly, RJ is one of the best characters. <laughs> Carter didn't actually get eaten, just stepped on. And human sources. <laughs> human sources. Wow. Talks about all the characters from the first film and what their roles are. And same for The Lost World and all these images. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Don't think I've ever seen that image of uh, Robert Burke before. And a nice little size chart. And it tells you all the like the meanings of the names in Greek and Latin. And then asks, could we really make dinosaurs come to life again? Not anytime soon. And then it asks, what really happened to the dinosaurs? And there's a nice shot from the Lost World of them looking at the Stegosauruses. And this really cool shot. I'm guessing this is from like a production still from the first film, judging by. The skyline, that looks like where the, the, well, it looks like they've actually mirrored it on both sides. But it's like um, where the fence is, the perimeter fence. Aliens? Why are they talking about aliens? Oh, I guess because what really happened to the dinosaurs. And then you got the dinosaur resources. And it says, join the official Jurassic Park Dinosaur Club. And life will find a way. Nice. Nice way. So yeah, that's a really cool little book. I found that online and uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video just having a quick look through. So yeah.